welcome to my craft room. Got a new baby card today. I just love these little baby animals. I made another Z Fold type card with these same guys, but I just couldn't resist. I had to make um, one of these twist um, cards. So first it says little one on the front and then you open it up and you get the whole thing. And it says, welcome to this world. So before you start, I need you to go down into my description and click on the Cricut link down there. I made the base of this card a public file. And if you click on that link, Cricut will put the base onto your canvas and you'll be ready to go. So let's go make it. Here we are on the canvas. If you do not have this on your canvas, go down in the description of this video, click on the Cricut link and Cricut will put this on your Cricut canvas. So first let's do some colors. These are all gonna be your background. So they are all gonna be light blue. So we're gonna drag our finger, our mouse across all of them and change them all to light blue. Here we go. Now, this is your envelope. It can be made out of a plain sheet of copy paper or cardstock. I'm gonna move it out of our way. And then let's do these other gray pieces. We're gonna turn these all into a medium brown. But if it's got a score mark or a pen mark on it, you have to go into layers and just pick the piece of paper. Then we're gonna to go to edit. And we're going to do brown, but this is going to be a medium brown. So let's make it right there. Then we've got this one. Same thing. And this guy. There we go. Okay, you've got all of your colors. Now let's get our images. You're going to hit images down here in the lower left hand corner. If you have never looked up images by their code number, let me show you how to do that really quick. First, all images start with hashtag capital M. And then the owl is 3C499B2. B zero seven. There you go, there he is. And you just click on that and it puts it down here on add. And as you can see, I have put all of your images that you're gonna need here on a list. I need you to get all of those and get them put on your canvas. I'm gonna fast forward here and I'll meet you over there and we'll get our sizes and colors done. Okay, we've got all of our images. Let me get all these sorted out for a second here real quick. There we go. The easiest thing for us to do would be to get the animals done first because we're really not gonna have to change too many colors. So these three guys are all gonna be two inches tall. So you're gonna go to edit and then to height and hit two. There we go. And two. And two. Okay, and he's a little bit shorter than the rest. So we're gonna do him at 
There we go. That's perfect. And this guy is down at the bottom and he is 1.5 high. And then this guy we're gonna do his width. He's gonna be two inches wide. Okay, now let's work on our colors. The owl, let's go into layers. Let's go find our owl, there he is. The only thing I'm gonna change on here is this is gonna be more of a medium blue, so it doesn't get mixed up with your sky blue. And he goes on the cover, there we go. And then we've got our three different color of browns. So let's get all of these assigned their correct colors. This, his body, is gonna be the same as our card base, which is right here, okay. And then these guys are going to be a light brown, but we're gonna pick one that's down here so we make sure that we get all of our um, guys in the same color. And then his dark brown is going to be this one down here. There we go. Okay, he, he is done. I'm gonna stick him up here. Let's do our squirrel. Let's find him, there he is. Let's get our light brown, which is going to be this. Our medium brown, which is this guy. There. Now on these whites of their eyes, these little things right here, I just used a white gel pen that I already have. They're tiny, tiny pieces. So that might be an option for you if that's what you would like. Okay, he is ready. Now, let's do our fox. Our fox is gonna be kind of an orangey color, so we're gonna keep him that. Let's check our dark brown. That's this. We'll double check on these pinks. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one pink for all of them. Oh, okay, there's your fox. Let's see, and on your owl, we need to change the beak and everything to this guy, and then they will already match. If they don't, we'll fix that. And then our, our little raccoon guy, let's find him. He is all fine. Let's double check his pink. It's a lot easier to go ahead and do it now rather than try to do it at, on sync. Our little hedgehog guy, he's so cute. Okay, his light brown. Let's double check that. It's going to be this one. His dark brown is going to be this one. His pink is going to be this one. And okay, let's do our limbs really quick. First, while we're here, let's go ahead and change our colors. This is some of your leaves and stuff. It is going to be green. We are going to do this medium green right here. And his stem is going to be the dark brown. There we go. And these extra leaves are going to be the same green. There you go. Now, now that we've got all of our colors changed, our size is going to be 3.3 wide. There we go. And let me, I'm gonna pull in some of this so we can see a little better. And we're gonna need three of these. So you're gonna to go to Actions, Duplicate, Duplicate. Okay, two of these are gonna go right here and one is going to go there. There's that one and then this one. You go to Edit and then way over here on the right is Horizontal and Vertical. We're gonna do Vertical, there we go. And that goes right here. And then we're gonna do the same with this one. There we go, and that one goes up here. Okay, let's do grass, mm, whoops, it's so small. We need four of these to go on the underneath of these guys, and you see how they're 2.25 wide? Then that's what we need to do, 2.25. There we go. Let's change the color to our medium green, so all of our greens are the same. We are gonna need four copies of this. Go into Actions and Duplicate, Duplicate, Duplicate. That gives you your four small ones. 
Then do one more, pull it out. Okay, and these four are gonna go up here with our little panels. This guy needs to go under our hedgehog. So he is going to be, this is 3.5 wide. So this is going to be 3.5 wide, 3.5. There you go. All of our grass is done. And this goes right here. Okay, all we've got left is our signs. First, let's change our colors. We are in layers. Let's go find it. Okay, this guy is going to be the bright white right here. And I did my, the, oh, I did world in the dark brown. And I did all the rest in that medium green. So let's get all of these changed out. And welcome is the bright green. There we go. And this is going to be 3.25 wide. So you're gonna go to edit, 3.25. And boom, done. That goes up here. Now, all we have left is our little one sign. Oh, first, we need the, our little banner thing, and that's going to be in shapes. You just scroll down, and it's going to be right here. And it's already the right size. Good. 2.5 wide, and it's going to be the bright white. Okay. And that goes up here. Okay, and it's going to say little one. Okay, this one is going to be the medium green. There we go. Got it green. We need to make it one inch wide. There we go. Now, I didn't use all of this extra stuff on here except, oops, sorry about that, except for one of the little hearts. I dotted my eye of little one with it. So you're just gonna go ahead and cut this out and um, glue little and then one on here. Just let's check sync. Okay, we've got our black, two colors of blue. We have our green, two grays, dark brown, light blue, medium brown, our pinks, our orange, and our light browns and our whites. So look at that. We are all synced up. So I have one more favor to ask. If you will go ahead and glue all of these guys together, you do not need to sit here and watch me glue all this stuff together. Same with your branches. Same with your two little signs. Okay. If you will put all of those together, then we will be uh, ready to go on the canvas and it'll be quick and easy. Okay, here we are at the craft table. As you can see, it's well loved. Thank you for putting all of your animals and your signs and everything together. First tip, I put everything on paper plates and just use them over and over and over again. It just helps keep me organized. Then I use art glitter glue. I buy these refills and the small with this little tiny tip. A little bit goes a very long way. It's really, really good paper to paper glue. Envelopes. The good thing about the envelope on this card, this is not the right one. I'm just using this for an example, is that you can make it out of a plain sheet of copy paper. Eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So let's get going. Let's do our cover first. You're going to need one of your larger uh, light blue rectangles. So you need your owl. You are going to need one of these that goes down. And you need one that goes up. Here's the other one. Just like this. Okay, I was wrong. I was doing the wrong branch. This is the one that goes on the top. It goes down. And this one also goes down. See? So it's probably about an inch from the bottom, the main part of the limb, but I basically just overlapped these. Okay, again, it's gonna start right edge of your paper. So there you go. This one's a little higher 
and this one's a little higher so okay and then the little one is going to go right at the end of your branch again on the edge of your blue paper okay i'm gonna have to turn to see because my camera is above and i can't just like that okay and then all we have left to do is put our owl on there look isn't he cute he is so cute and this is going to make a huge difference that you guys went ahead and put all these together and who wants to sit there and watch me put all these little things together that's silly okay we're gonna make sure that his claws are on the branch and then he is straight up and down so there you go. Like I said, I like these simple graphic covers. We are not gonna glue this on yet. Why? Because if we mess up the inside of the card, then we'll have to remake this whole thing. We'll do this at the very last. So set this aside and let it be drying. Okay. Then let's go ahead and work on the inside of our card. Get your other two big blue rectangles and we're gonna get those glued on. There we go, just like that. They are going to have an, a quarter of an inch all the way around. So let's get both of our sides on here because we need to do that before we can do our pop-up. But again, we're gonna do the pop-up first and we're gonna let this sit here and dry for a little bit. So now let's set that aside. Let's get our pop-up done. Okay, you should have two brown sheets left. One has three score lines like this. And so you're going to take this one and you're going to bend it down in the middle and up on both sides. Okay, so just go slow. This is craft because I thought it would look more woodsy. I like these woodland, woodland animals. I saw a baby shower um, set with them and they were adorable. So I thought that would be fun. Okay, now we are going to get our little blue panels. So go ahead and set this aside. Here's our four animals. I kind of separated the two browns like this, you know, and then it's your decision on which one you want on the other two. First, let's get our grass put on. This this is not something that you absolutely have to do, but it, I think it adds a little. Don't. I only put glue along the very bottom, and I am going to match these. And again, I can't see. Because normally I stand up when I'm doing these kind of things. And look down to make sure that I've got my spacing just right but I can't do that because you guys are watching from above there we go we're just going to do that on all four little squares okay and then if you don't glue the actual grass part the part that's sticking up then we may can put part of the animal behind it it just kind of depends on how it's how it looks my younger son has not seen this one yet I just showed him the cauldron that's just like this, only the card is shaped like a witch's cauldron. I showed that to him. Um, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I have a special needs adult son who <laughs> is so funny. And he saw that witch's cauldron and said, that's a bad witch stew <laughs> and I thought yeah that's pretty close now remember we we separated these two brown ones here and here and then I put the raccoon on this one and the fox on this one of course these are all personal choice now we know where our animals are going to go so let's go ahead and get them attached here real quick Whoever you are making this for, they're going to love it. I guarantee. Now, I ended up not putting mine behind the grass. 
especially this guy, he is shorter than everybody else. And I think I just kind of want them sitting because once I put him down in the grass, he was way shorter than everybody else. So I didn't want it to look mm, unbalanced. So I ended up putting now these guys to match the other guy. Now they could probably go under your grass. An easier way if you don't want to is to just kind of bend and slide like that. Just like that. There we go. Look at that. These are so cute. They look like real cartoons, don't they? Always amazed at how good these things look when they're put together with cardstock compared to what um to what you think, you know, you think you're they're gonna look cheap or simple or whatever. And they don't. It's always surprising. Okay, there's him, and then let's do our beaver guy. He's a cutie too. Now, if you look close at some of these animals, there's a couple places where I made mistakes. But guess what? Nobody's going to know. Because whoever you're giving this to has no idea that it wasn't supposed to be just like you did it. So, now, it's been hard for me to get rid of all my perfectionism. But... I have made a concerted effort. Okay, now, so we've got this guy here, this guy here, this guy here. And actually, so anyway, my son works at our local small chain movie theater. He tears the tickets there. And he loves working there. It's his absolute favorite. And he will tell everybody, I'm a movie man. So, now he knows all the new movies coming out. He knows when they're going to be. Blah, blah, blah. It's pretty cute. And we just had, we have uh, the moms. Okay. Harvey wiped out a very large section of my community, including our Y, our library, my son's old high school. And so our special needs adults didn't have their um, socialization thing that they used to do at the Y once a month. So us moms all got together and started putting together sock hop, uh, dances. We had a sock hop last week and I used my cricket to make an old oversized white sweater that I had to look like John Travolta's sweater at the end of Greece and put my husband's name on it like it was my boyfriend's sweater. And it worked out really good. Cricket, you can use it for lots of different things. Okay, there's your four animals. Make sure that they're bending in good like this. Okay, there you go. Okay, now we're gonna set that aside. And you have one more piece of brown, and it has score marks, the X in the middle. That's the one you need here next. So all we're going to do is one of these X folds, okay? Just like that. Now we're going to do the other one. Okay. Sorry, I have to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. All we're doing is folding the X. There we go. Got it. Okay, now you got to fold them back. It's easier to fold them towards you, but we're going to need them backwards. There we go. Now you've got one more score line going over this long part. You're going to fold that towards you. Okay, and just go slow. Let your paper feel your score, and then it'll fold it just right. Now, pick it up, put your finger right here in the middle of your X, and you're going to pop it up just like that. Now, do you see where you have two triangles and these are going in? That's exactly what you want. And now we are going to push our fingers in like this and it's going to swing in until it is a house shaped. Okay, you ready? Okay, you're going to squeeze just like that. Keep squeezing. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so there you've got your house shape. Now, I want you to get your envelope base right here. And this is going to go right in your 
fold into your um, score line, okay? And we wanna get it, you know, as close as possible, but your card also has to close. So you wanna get it even across this way, and you wanna make sure you get it straight up and down this way. We're gonna take this, we're gonna put glue on only the triangle. Try to get as close to your edge as you can, just because this is your mechanism that's gonna make your pop-up pop up. My son thinks that's funny too. So I'm gonna lift mine up real quick again to get it in the middle. Make sure I've got it right in the middle. I am gonna put it pretty close to my fold. I've got it probably maybe an eighth of an inch back. And I'll probably go up just a little bit. There we go. And of course it folds. And now we need to do the other side. So we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're only going to put glue on the triangle. And you can see when I folded my card, it kind of pushed it where it was in the right spot, which is why I do it as soon as I can while I still have wet glue. So it will kind of move if I need it to, but it doesn't have to, it's not a big deal. Okay, now that you've got your other triangle, now we're just gonna close the card just like that. I'm gonna give it a little bit of pressure, and there we go. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna push this out as flat as you can possibly get it. It probably won't go all the way flat, okay? And then we need the middle. So we're gonna fold this over just like this, and we're gonna put it right in the middle of our X right here. There we go. Now you're gonna hold down the left side, get my finger, get my hand under here, and you're gonna pull this out. Check your base, and it doesn't matter if you have a little sliver of something showing, you see this little sliver I've got? Because we can trim that off very easily. Okay, you've got it in the middle, you've got it even, you're gonna flip back this little guy, the beaver, and you're only gonna glue on this top square, okay? Above the score line. There we go. And now you're just going to lay that down just like that. And now we're going to do the same thing with the fox. Only this time we're going to do the bottom square. Do you see how that's at the bottom? So now I'm only going to do this bottom square. Okay. Now I'm going to turn this back. Make sure I've got it as flat as I can get it and stick it on there. Now we need to practice it folding, but be careful because your glue may not be dry yet. So I'm gonna hold these two spots and I just wanna show you real quick. There we go, look at that. It works good. And then I'm gonna open it up slow because my glue is still wet and there you go. Look at that, look how good you're doing. Okay, let's do the bottom. Okay, we're gonna put the grass across it too. And then we'll put our little hedgehog guy, I love him. And I probably told you on the canvas, I don't do the canvas until after we do the tabletop because you never know if I'm gonna run into some problems. This gives a little interest to the bottom of your card, but it gives you plenty of room to sign. So here's our little hedgehog guy, how cute is he? Now he, I may end up putting down in the grass a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna pop these up real quick. Yeah, just like that. Do you see that? All right, I got a little piece of glue on here. If this sticking up bothers you, you can throw a piece of glue and it glue it onto your little hedgehog guy. There, your bottom's done. So let's do our top. Again, this is gonna be, just kind of frame your words and just kind of add a little bit of more detail to the top. So first, let's get our um, spacing right. We just want a little bit of detail, that's all. So I'm gonna hold this. So it looks like it's about three quarters of an inch down, okay? Since I know where I want it, I'm gonna sneak a piece of glue up under here and get it started sticking. Uh, and now I'm gonna go up under 
and get glue on all the leaves, on the branch, just like that. And then you're welcome to the world. It's gonna go right on top. Yeah. So then you're gonna kind of wanna, I put it right at the bottom of the branch and it looks like about, I don't know, quarter, eighth of an inch on either side. I'm gonna bring it down a little bit so I keep it all on the blue. Let me make sure that I have it straight, and I do. And look at that. Look, look how cute it is. Okay, let's, okay. Like I said, leave this open and let it dry. But once it is dry, you're gonna need to do this. You're gonna have to practice with the paper because it doesn't really know what it's doing. So just, Look, just go like this, and I can't be too too crazy with it. And then you're just gonna go like this over and over and over again. And now all we've got left is our cover. Look at that. Look how quick and easy this was. Okay, make sure that your card is right side up. Close it. Don't leave it closed very long because remember you still got wet glue. And then this, again, is going to go quarter inch all the way around. Okay, look at that. You're done. Look what a great job you did. Look, little one, welcome to the world. You did a great job. I'm really proud of you.